morning, our theme is Moroccan inspiration. And joining us to talk about the many benefits of Moroccan food is Maria Marlowe, author of The Ultimate Grocery Store Guide. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Now, this this looks so beautiful. And the, and the thing is, you say it's all healthy. So that's... It is. So it's Moroccan inspired, but it's my healthy, quick take on it. So before we get cooking, I want to take you over here mm -hmm. um, to try this. This is a Moroccan white wine. <laughs> Ooh. I know, and you don't usually think Cheers. of wine uh, with Morocco, but Morocco uh -huh. is actually the second largest producer of wine in the Arab world. Um, this is a white wine from Ouled Taleb, and it is made with a grape, the Farina grape, that is unique only to Morocco. So it's a very cool, interesting uh, wine to have okay. because it's something you're not going to get anywhere else. So let's talk about the food that you brought because when you say Moroccan food, what is that? What are some of the staples? So definitely a lot of spices, mm. a lot of flavors, and we're going to be using a few of these. So with the tagine, I'm just putting a little olive oil in the pot. And I'm going to add some garlic and onions to start the tagine. And a quick tip for using garlic, you always want to chop it 10 minutes before you put it into a hot pot. Really? really? Yes, because that preserves all the health benefits of it. I never knew that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you do it before that, you basically, you're going to degrade that, um, the compound in garlic that gives it all its healthful benefits, the antibacterial, antiviral, all of that. Um, so you always want to wait 10 minutes and let it rest. Oh. We also have turmeric, which is this bright yellow spice which has anti-inflammatory benefits. Uh, we have ras al hanout, which is also a typical Moroccan spice. This is a blend of all different, you know, cumin and cardamom and ginger. Everyone has their own different recipe for this. And there's health benefits to all of those, too. Oh, definitely. Anti-inflammatory, lots of antioxidants. Uh, just always you want to go to your spice cabinet. Mm -hmm. um, be generous with the spices. We also have harissa here. So harissa is another Moroccan condiment. It's super spicy. It's made with roasted red peppers and chili peppers. So that's going to add some heat to it. I'll actually probably add the whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, make so it a little spicy. Good. <laughs> I wish the viewers had smell of this. Yeah. And usually I'd let this cook down a little bit more. Uh, but we're also going to add our veggies. And so a classic tagine is slow cooked to allow the flavors to develop. Mm -hmm. In New York City, we don't have a lot of time. Yeah. Um, so this is a quick cooking version. So mm -hmm. I'm using carrots. And I'm also going to use a little bit of broccoli. You can throw a squash in there as well. And so these are just raw vegetables. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And we're going to cook them. We're going to add just a, about a cup of veggie broth. And now, is this on high? Uh, this is on about medium. Medium, medium. Okay. Yep. And then we would just cover that and let that all cook down. And then our final dish is this veggie tagine. It's just like long, a stew. How long do we normally let it sit and cook down? So normally it would be about 45 minutes okay. or plus. Um, this you only need to cook for 20 minutes. Oh my goodness. And, yeah. And how far should the liquid be up? Because it. Not too much. Like okay. you can see, it's just a little bit. You just kind of want it just to kind of like steam and moisten the vegetables, mm -hmm. but you don't want it to be like too soupy. Mm. Right. And then you get this nice uh, stew-like um, And this is the one of the ways you serve it. You put it on couscous, which I love. <laughs> exactly. So couscous, uh, yeah. people don't realize it's mm -hmm. actually, it's not a grain. It's more like a pasta product. Mm -hmm. And so instead of using a regular couscous, I use millet, which is ah. a whole grain. And I added, um, instead of raisins, I used goji berries for the added antioxidants. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Because I, I was reading that you help a lot of women lose weight and then clear up their acne by their, their food choices. Yes. So both of those things, what you eat Eat has a huge effect because your skin is an organ so what you're eating is going to determine what it looks like and a lot of times acne can actually be a nutrient deficiency like vitamin A um, you know uh, which is actually found in goji berries. I was going to say because you talked a lot about antioxidants here so yes. I assume those are a lot of part of the ingredients. Right, you try this and I, I like these pancakes. So <laughs> yes this could be breakfast or dessert but uh -huh. this is a pomegranate and pistachio <laughs> pancake. It's gluten free made solely with egg and banana. That is it. And it's amazing. It tastes just like, you know, a regular pancake. And then I just put some pomegranate and pistachio on top. That is beautiful. You want to try this? Sure, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> This is really good. And here's a taster, and, and then we just keep on going. And Maria, what is this? So this is just a sweet potato toast. Uh -huh. I roasted sweet potato round in the eating. oven. And I added a bit of harissa, which is that spicy condiment. Uh -huh. Anything spicy is going to speed up your metabolism, and it also increases feelings of satiety. So if you're looking to lose weight, it's a great idea to eat a spicy appetizer before you eat, because it's going to... You, know, you won't eat as much. I didn't know that, that spicy That's food speeds up your metabolism. Because I've been yeah. staying away from spicy, now I'm going to go crazy on spicy. Yes. Well, it's a temporary, <laughs> temporary boost in metabolism, but every little bit helps.
Those are really good. She just tried the pancakes. So what would you say, let's say uh, three things, ingredients that you have here that would really help with the, you know, acne when we were talking about kind of controlling that? Sure. So anything high in vitamin A is great for acne, so the carrots. Anything mm -hmm. bright orange. Pumpkin's in season now. Any sort of squash. Mm. That would be great. The turmeric is also, also amazing. Heard so many good things about turmeric. Turmeric is like the wonder spice. There's kind of nothing that it can't do. Mm -hmm. Highly anti-inflammatory, and if you think of acne, it's like a bump on your skin. Mm -hmm. And so uh, turmeric and other anti-inflammatory foods will help bring that inflammation down. Okay. So that's a great, um, great one. And anything green. So the broccoli, the parsley, which we can garnish, you know, mm -hmm. our dishes with um, kale, any of that stuff. That's also great for your skin, great for your digestion. So when you have good digestion, you're going to have better skin. Um, and it's also antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. Now, how important is water in that whole? Mm -hmm. Very yeah, important. I always keep hearing it. Sometimes it's so hard for people to drink enough water. Right. Yes. So if you find it hard to drink water, I recommend putting fruit in it. You could put pomegranate in. You could put sliced lemons oh. and orange and cucumber. Water is so important. It helps with digestion, especially if you're eating vegetables, which you want to be eating. All that fiber, you need to drink the water to help them do their job. Uh, keeps you hydrated. Mm -hmm. It keeps your skin looking great. So definitely add the fruit to the water if that will make you drink it. We learned so much, Maria. Thank, Thank you very much for being here. <laughs> we, really so we really appreciate it. And you can find these uh, recipes on our website, cbsnewyork.com.